a film about a biplane flight over the Gatineau Hills to see the vibrant fall colors produced as the days get shorter and the temperatures drop. The Ottawa area of eastern Ontario is home to forests of maple trees that produce a spectacular display of colorful leaves during the fall season when viewed from either the ground or high up in an 80 year old open cockpit biplane. Fall colors vary from year to year and are most spectacular when there are lots of red leaves. This year shaped up to be excellent as there were many trees with red leaves to complement the trees with the usual yellows and oranges. The orange pigments are present in the leaves year round but only become evident when the green chlorophyll breaks down. That happens in the fall when in preparation for the cold and dark days of winter, trees shut down food production in the leaves and so the chlorophyll begins to break down and the green color disappears, leaving behind yellow or orange hues. More leaves turn red if fall has warm days and low temperatures above freezing at night without early frost, as these conditions boost the production of red pigments, producing a more dazzling display. As the conditions for the production of red leaves were right, it was a great year to take a biplane flight over the woods in the Gatineau Hills. Of course, the weather could spoil the plan if it didn't cooperate and bless us with a sunny day to make the colors pop. We had to wait for an hour and a half past our scheduled flight time for a host of reasons, including that the key was unavailable for our Waco biplane to refuel. As they taxied off to refuel, the Wacos had to weave back and forth, as the pilot can't see directly in front of the plane due to its tail dragging design. Our WACO UPF-7 was an American-built military biplane trainer produced in 1940 by the WACO Aircraft Company. It was a tandem biplane trainer that was adopted by the Civilian Pilot Training Program and continued into production until 1942, by which time over 600 had been built. The fuel was locked. Fortunately, the hour and a half delay was in our favor as the overcast sky moved off and we had sunshine to bring out the vibrant colors of the leaves. Having refueled, our Waco returned and we were just minutes away from climbing aboard. The Waco is powered by a Continental R670 seven-cylinder four-cycle radial aircraft engine producing about 220 horsepower. This engine was used on many aircraft and even some American armored fighting vehicles in the 1930s and 40s. Finally, it was time to climb into the more than 80-year-old biplane, which proved an unexpected challenge as it's a tight fit for two. Our 30-minute flight would take us over the Gatineau Park to see the trees that have turned into a riot of red, orange and yellow leaves that make this park world famous. The return leg would fly over Parliament Hill, the heart of Canada's democracy.
Flying in the open air cockpit was great fun on a warm autumn day, but we soon learned that without wearing a hat, the airstream whipping through our hair tied it up in knots, knots that were many and painful to remove. Beautiful Meach Lake is home to Wilson House, built in 1907, which is a good example of the grand rustic summer estates popular with the rich at the turn of the 20th century. The house was the scene of negotiations in 1987 that led to the Meach Lake Accord to amend the Canadian Constitution. Ultimately, the Accord was not ratified after being subjected to public scrutiny. The forest around Meach Lake harbored an amazing collection of brilliant red and blazing orange trees, the abundance of which would be difficult to see from the ground. Landings are always an adventure. For example, in 2012, the Waco airplane that we were flying in flipped over after touching down. The pilot walked away whilst the two passengers went to hospital with non-life-threatening injuries.
It was a bit of a pain climbing out of the plane, but our flight had been excellent with the amazing fall colors at their height and in full sun to boot. Of course, the fall colors continued to be fully on display as we drove home through the woods. Take me somewhere nice To some tired island in your heart call 